students in Gadsden was closed and it was due to desegregation. And what would have been Carver High School's graduating class of 1972, they were separated among other schools for their senior year. ABC 3340's Erin Wise sat down with a couple of 1972 students and explains how they are now being recognized at the former school. Carver High School was a great place. We were nurtured here. After the class of 1971 graduated, Vivian Burnett fully expected to return to Carver High School in the fall for her senior year. That would never happen. The school, which was the first 12 year public school for black students in Gadsden, was closed because of desegregation. Our parents received letters saying that we could pick a school. So we were split up. We were broadside, blindsided, and it hurt. The class dispersed among four schools, many attending Emma Sanson High School. To go to a different place, it was, it was scary. We settled in, you know, after a while, but this was home. We all stuck together, the ones that went to Sampson. We, it was just like we was, we was family. The entire class of 72 still meets today. Catherine Etheridge says they are known as the combined classes of Carver High. It's just a legacy, a legacy of four schools. All of us went different places, but we still come together as a class. You won't find the class of 1972's class photo on the wall at the Central Carver Museum, but through the Carver Legacy Project, the class will now be recognized with all of their names on two monuments in front of what remains of the school. Letting people know and making an imprint for civil rights in Etowah County. When you start looking at civil rights specifically in Etowah County, a lot of it's been destroyed. When you hear about the Carver Legacy Project um, and how it's going to honor the class of 1972, how does that make you feel? That's wonderful. They, they want to say we were forgotten, but we have never been forgotten. In Gadsden, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News. The Carver Legacy Project received $10,000 from the mayor's discretionary fund. 35000 in total is needed to finish the monuments. For more information on how to donate, head to our website. One of the greatest athletes to ever step